Hey, you guys, what's Gucci? It's your boy, SJ K. Dot, the first black Super Saiyan in the world rocking this planet. We got this Jordan Lucas Devil's Work ADHD reaction to the music video. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully, they don't block it and I have to, you know, cut it down. If they block it, I'll cut it down, you know, cut it down to where it's viewable and uh, give it to you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this now. Jordan Lucas ADHD reaction about to begin. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on there. Go check out my Sonic uh video. <laughs> my Sonic the Hedgehog movie video, bro. That shit was fire, bro. I was speaking facts up in that video, bro. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie, bro. Finna make three billion dollars. Respect. This again is video. Got the Henny. Got a look. He's in the church. ADHD. Father, me. I'm staring at this Bible as I keep glancing. Dear Lord, I got questions and I need answers. I'm trying to understand your vision, all I see is damage. Just a bunch of dead bodies in the street camping. Too many dead people. And not and not so many of us just living life like we supposed to. Y'all know what I mean? Too many people are dying nowadays and not enough living your life to the fullest without dying from getting shot, somebody harming you, you know, those kind of things. Natural causes are a different thing. That's a totally different story. That's a t different playing field. A bunch of lost souls on their feet standing. We supposed to be your children. I thought we family. You supposed to be my father, bro. I need answers. We don't need to die young. We just need chances. Tired of living on the edge, so we keep scrambling. Trying to talk to these strippers, but they keep dancing. We just want me number one like Steve Francis. By my head saying praying out of seas planet. Everywhere I turn, I'm seeing MCs vanish. A lot of good niggas gone. I don't understand it. A lot of families lost in it. Hey, all I can say is that's just the world. I wish it wasn't that way. There be so many good people and people who change that get snatched up out of this world. A lot of the people that still be doing some crooked, shady stuff and they're open about it. A lot of them people be living longer than most of the people that, you know, aren't doing some crooked and shady stuff like that. I ain't finna name no names, but, you know, you guys know what I mean. They see Fred. I ain't trying to disrespect you, I just need answers. I know you're watching us from heaven thinking who to say. Cherry picking who should go next and who should stay. I'd be on my way to heaven if I knew the way. And bring back every good nigga you choose to take. They say you're never wrong, but you done made a few mistakes. Cause you taking the wrong nigga. Hey, rest in peace, Pac. Niggas, maybe you should trade. Trade us back all the real ones, remove the face. I think you should trade. Give us two pops, yes. I can say that nigga shook. Let the legend resurrect. Whoa! <laughs> He said, bring back Tupac. Take show. Dang. Bro. Ugh. Start life in every different hood. If only you can bring it back, Lord, I wish you would. Give us Biggie, give us Pun, give us Triple X. Take that. Hey, shouts out X. Biggie. Shouts out X, bruh. Shouts out Jordan, bruh. He not, he's not even using that mugshot people keep on using for X, bruh. That's probably the best picture that X got. Was, you know, best picture. Shouts out to Joyner, bro. Showing love. Hey. Take shit. But hey, I'm not trying to wish no death on anybody, but you know. Shug. Hey, I'm not wishing death on nobody. I'm just saying. Ooh. Bro, Selena, yo. Selena y los dinos. A, so if Selena was alive, bro, she would have been a icon, bro. She would have been a worldwide icon. Right now, Selena, bro. She would have been in movies. Bro, it would have been Selena. <sighs> R.P. Selena. Oh. 
Rest in peace, MLK. Give us back, Malcolm. Take R. Kelly. R.I.P. Lil Snoop. Get that boy's life back. Take Eric Holder. Give us Eric right back. I'm sending you this message, Lord. I hope you hit me right back. They say I'm on the wrong train. I know I'm on the right track. Cause Trey Bob Gordon only did what Trap fight back. Zimmerman walk around free. We don't like that. Why you take our mothers from us? Fathers and our sisters and our cousins from us. Got these children getting murdered while they double dutching. Wonder why the fuck you take Nipsey Hustle from us. Damn, you took a true king, a true brother from us. This a fucking marathon, but they run it from us. Now everybody got guns, niggas up to something. And every this is a very um religious topic. I don't want to dive too much into this. But, you know, man, there's a lot of things where people have these kind of um, ideas within their set religions they believe in, there will be cases of denial. But hey, that's all I'm finna say. Let's keep going. I don't want to get too deep into this topic because it'll be a flood of... Nah, I was just... Let's keep going. Gangsta want to prove that they suffer something. You know it's not fair to tell the truth. I've been in my feelings too. But if you took Emmett Tell, at least take Dylan Roof. At least take Damn. James Holmes. I ain't even mad at that. Just bring back Whitney and give us Michael Jackson back. Fans want me and then slam it down. Ain't no justice for Sandra Bland. We up like a Salem fan. Lord, if you listen, I'm just looking for a hand in hand. Take out the fuck niggas and give us back a fam again. Drowning in my tears, trying to pray for some. Wonder why you give us life for you to take it from us. Wonder why you give us family and erase it from us. Maybe hopefully you can have a conversation with us. Maybe I'm just probably tripping because. Well, only thing I can say, there's higher powers at play that would like to test us. And they will put, it will put things in our life and it will take things from our life to either advance us to see if we break and fold. But hey, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's keep going. I need a hug. Need a the hood hug. can't find jobs that we need to plug. Everybody and their mama trying to be a thug. I don't go to church because I'm afraid of being judged. I've been staring at the ceiling as a line bet. Watching niggas follow trends like Simon says. I pray you give us back the real ones and try again. Or maybe take them niggas that deserve to die instead. Tommy Lauren run them out and then she get defensive. Laura Ingram laughing at death and disrespecting. I really feel like you should teach them stupid hoes a lesson. Either that or give us back. Mm, laughing at death and disrespect. Okay, let, let, let me talk about that. Let me talk about that. Laughing at death and disrespecting. Now, people will say, oh, someone's dead. You can't crack no jokes at all. Look, i am be honest with you guys. When Tupac died, there was people who joked about it, and there was people who didn't joke about it. When XX, when XXX and Tashon died, I'm a big fan of X, people were serious about his death, and people joked about his death. When Biggie died, it was the same thing. Somebody's gonna somebody's still gonna find a way to make a joke about you even after death. I mean it's it's just a world. I mean, you know, for me, if I were to do that, <laughs> I'd uh, keep it in the privacy of my home if I were to make some jokes like that. But uh I ain't finna go out in public. I'm not finna go to no public place. And I know people are feeling some type of way after somebody died. And I'm just and I just started cracking a joke that's probably too inappropriate for that moment. In the privacy of your home, you can do so. But uh in public, that's on you. Be careful. Cause something could happen to you. I'm just saying, bro. People will <sighs> And they sorta of have a right to. I can't lie, but they sorta of have a right to. So be careful the way you treat some people after death. But that's just where we live in. People would either take it seriously or they will not take it seriously. Or them cracking jokes is their way of getting through it. And that's true. Some people crack jokes to get through certain situations. That's true. It ain't false. It's true for the most part. Somebody who deserved the blessings. I left out a bunch of names that I forgot to mention. Yep. Cost too much to pay attention and it got expensive. Yep. Father, forgive me for I know not what I do. And now I'm reaching out to you hoping you hear me and return the message. I know that you got our back and that you're not against us. Or maybe you just love us, so you're doing shit to test us. I just kind of thought that you would do more to protect us. They say the good die young, and I ain't on the guest list. 
I've been drinking long, forgive me as my blood racing. I don't know what I'm thinking, I'm just frustrated. I don't mean to question you, I'm just confused. I don't know what else to do. I've been patient and it sucks waiting. Took my man's from me, that forever hurts. But putting the blame on you, that it never work. I know this ain't your fault, it's the devil's work. Devil's work. Devil's work. Dang, man, you got to take the Henny out the church. I'm just saying, can't leave it there. I'm going to be very brief. I don't want to get into this too much, but from what we seen earlier, Jordan was over there reminiscing, bringing up Nipsey, Pac, Biggie, X, talking about all the people that all the people who are trying to change and do better to a, at a point and were taken out of this world shouldn't have been taken at the time they were. And some people like uh, Zimmerman, Trump, Suge, and people like them are still, you know, alive and kicking it. You know, yeah, they're going through their little trials and tribulations just like us, but you know, it's, it's the fact that he's like, oh, he's contemplating and questioning. Why are they alive, but these people over here who aren't really as bad as this person here is dead? But, you know, higher powers always at work. Um, What I'm going to say is, you know, people go through that stage of denial. Then they go through the stage of accepting it for what it is. And then they will, you know, resort to as what he calls it. The devil's work. But hey, I don't want to dive too much into this. But I can appreciate the storytelling from what Jordan was going through. I can appreciate the storytelling. Like the beat, obviously. You know I'm not a huge fan of Joyner. Not a huge, huge fan. I'm not saying Joyner's whack and I don't listen to him. I don't listen to him consistently. But I think Joyner's cool. I think he's cool. Um, Like I say, I like to listen to Joyner every once in a while. He's not a consistent listen. I'm not saying music that Jordan makes is bad at all. I like the song. I thought it was nice. thought it was a nice little message. I like it. Shouts out to Jordan Lucas for doing what Jordan Lucas does best. Spitting some lyrical shit. Telling a story. Telling a story. Nice. Shouts out to Jordan. Uh, let's do a letter grade for this. I'll give it a B+. Plus. I'll give it a B+. Plus. I will never give it an A because this one reason. I'm not a big fan of Joyner. But hey, it gets a B plus. A B plus is better than anything. Well, it's not better than an A, but a B plus is a B plus. Except it for what it is. I did like Joyner on the Kamikaze album when he pulled up on a M's. <laughs> bruh, that was nice. That verse on Kam, Bruh. That, that was a good feature to have on uh, Kamikaze M. That was nice. To bring Jordan on. Bro, that shit was tight. <laughs> that shit was tight. It was tight. Now, hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys liked the video. Follow your boy on Twitter. Follow your boy on Instagram. Peace, love, positivity all the time. Don't do drugs. Go ahead and check this out. The original link is down below. You go watch the video yourself. You go comment. Look, I'm a look. You guys, if I can do it, you can do it. Look, you see this? Proof. Drop that like and show some love. Show some love. But look, we're going to end this video with Derrick's boy. Kid out the first black super saiyan world. Roger's planet goes to that peace, love, positivity, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs. Yeah. Doses.